Every year, our world is met with exciting new technologies, breakthroughs, and otherworldly discoveries that could change and revolutionize not only how we see our world, but the very fabric of society that could bring forth new progress never before thought possible. Unfortunately, there are often times when these discoveries are completely abandoned, disregarded, or lost altogether that could cost our future far more than we ever realized. One such example was the discovery of a groundbreaking new material known as starlight that, if it had been commercialized, could have seen a new era for humanity that centered around safety, safer space travel, and a reliable shield against some of the world's greatest weapons. Originally believed to have been lost forever, the rediscovery of this material will lead to startling new applications and uses while also paving the way for inventive new creators to think up practical applications and combinations. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over this incredible new material along with the formula that will help you make it for yourself for whatever you deem necessary in the hopes of helping to change the world for the better. Back in the 1970s, appearing on a popular television show known as Tomorrow's World that showcased incredible inventions and scientific discoveries that would lay the foundation for a better and brighter future was a revolutionary new discovery known as Starlight. Starlight was an intriguing new chemical compound that demonstrated an incredible ability of heat resistance of all kinds when undergoing testing on the television show. One such famous example demonstrated by the host of the show that launched the popularity of this newly discovered product into the minds of its viewers was when the host coated a normal store-bought egg with the special material and left it over the flame generated by an industrial-grade blowtorch that burned at the egg for more than an hour. This temperature should be capable of warping and welding steel into place, but after the hour demonstration had finished, the host picked up the egg and found that it was cold to the touch as if there had been no heat applied to it of any kind. He quickly followed this up by cracking the egg open live on the show that then spilled out raw and uncooked, demonstrating the special compound's borderline magical ability to protect anything from heats of any kind. Obviously enough, it did not take very long for private agencies and corporations from around the world to take notice of this strange, new, never-before-heard material that was showcased on Tomorrow's World. This led to the realization and short-lived fame of the creator of the Starlight material, known as Mr. Maurice Ward, of whom was a private inventor and amateur chemist. Maurice Ward was a strange character in that he had no form of higher education and rather spent his entire life and career working as a hairdresser. Interestingly, it appears that this career choice would be relevant for the creation of Starlight as Maurice Ward was often obsessed with designing new chemicals to be used for hair care products and hair maintenance. Oftentimes, Maurice Ward would demonstrate incredible pride in his work as a hairdresser and would tell journalists that what many of the mega companies in hair care products are only now able to produce, he was making decades ahead of the time and at a much higher quality. He was known as being a tinkerer and liked to spend his hobbies creating new and interesting chemical compounds to be used for his clients or everyday life. One day, as Maurice Ward was busy attempting to create a new form of organic plastics that could potentially help to reduce plastic wastes, he created a mostly organic compound that began demonstrating heat-resistant and blasting-resistant properties that would later become the foundation of Starlight. He would later go on to test the organic compound and remarked that not only could it be safely ingested when tested on horses and dogs without any ill effects, but that it was a natural compound that could be easily mass-produced if necessary. After the appearance on the show Tomorrow's World, Maurice Ward was quickly contacted by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration as well as the Department of Defense located out in the United States, as it appeared that these agencies were eager to begin testing on the supermaterial in the hopes of it being used to help create an efficient shielding for spacecraft to prevent damaging heats on re-entry, as well as many different militaristic applications of the shielding to keep soldiers and civilians safe in war, as well as for the development of new state-of-the-art bunkers to survive blasting and heat damages. It was during these rounds of testing held at NASA and the Department of Defense that led to the material being deemed almost futuristic in nature. According to many different sources, including the NASA spokesman Rudy Narangal, 
Starlight was capable of defending a material from heats that exceeded 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This was tested using state-of-the-art lasers with an intense and focused beam capable of generating the heat equivalent of the surface of the Sun. Despite this heat being directed at starlight for a prolonged period of time against the material, it never penetrated the material and was completely unabsorbed, leaving starlight cold to the touch immediately upon ceasing the application of heat. The material also proved to be incredibly efficient at dispersing energy and heat commonly seen in nuclear blasts, being more than capable of withstanding the blasting force and the heat generated by such a weapon. Despite this extensive testing and more than promising results, however, Starlight never became a commercialized product and was never mass-produced by any of these several different agencies that did a battery of tests to prove its viability as a highly valued supermaterial. Many people believe that the main cause for this was not due to the product's fault in any way, but rather more closely attributed to the creator's own vices in general. It appeared that Maurice Ward was not at all interested in sharing his product with the world until he received his justly deserved cut of the profits, which consisted of 51% of all profits made using his material as well as the complete rights and ownership of the material for personal decision making. Not only did this make it essentially impossible for the material to be used commercially, but Maurice Ward's unjustifiable paranoia also played a key role in the complete abandonment of the material by every single company and agency. When different groups were given samples of the Starlight material for testing, Maurice Ward fervently insisted on the provided samples never leaving his site, which meant that where samples of the product went, he would go as well. Rather than to have to deal with the unrestrained greed and paranoia of a self-proclaimed genius, Many of these private agencies and corporations preferred to rather cease any further pursuits into the product altogether. This led to the recipe and production process of the material supposedly vanishing from existence as Maurice Ward never provided the secrets to the creation of Starlight to anyone, including friends or family, before passing away in May of 2011 at the age of 78 due to his insistence of receiving his own personal fortune. Though normally this story would have ended here, as many believed Starlight to be nothing more than the parable of a greedy man leaving the world with nothing, as well as many skeptics claiming the material for itself to be nothing more than an elaborate hoax. Fortunately for us, a new rediscovery has come forward pertaining to this strange material. Several weeks ago, an engineer rediscovered a method on how to produce a material that looks very similar to Starlight in the demonstration videos along with having the same incredible heat-resistant properties and made solely from organic compounds. Given its vast similarities to Starlight, it is believed to in fact be the original recipe of the exotic material that can be made at home with incredible results. The formula is made up of nine parts cornstarch and one part pure baking soda, which means that for every one ounce of baking soda you add, you must add nine ounces of cornstarch. When these two compounds are mixed, in order to solidify the mixture as well as matching the chemical makeup of Starlight, one must add a standard batch of Elmer's glue until the mixture is to the consistency of modeling clay. This mixture can then be applied onto the surface of any object to create a heat-resistant coating with all the same properties and protection as Starlight did, able of surviving high temperatures and direct contact with a blowtorch for several minutes. The reason why this compound, though incredibly simple, provides amazing results that make it into somewhat of a supermaterial is due to the simple chemical processes that occur when the compound undergoes direct heat contact. When heat begins to hit the material, the surface of the area being affected quickly turns black and causes bubbles of carbon to form. When the cornstarch begins to burn, the baking soda will begin to release carbon dioxide which will displace the air and protect the newly formed bubbles of carbon and the carbon dioxide that forms below the surface of the burn pushes the carbon on the surface outwards into these bubbles. This then causes the strange effect that as the heat attempts to go deeper into the material, these bubbles and released carbon dioxide help to push it away just as fast. The carbon foam generated also appears to have a strange property known as black body radiation, which means that the object itself releases heat just as fast as it receives it, making it immediately cold to the touch as seen in starlight videos as well as capable of protecting itself against heat for an incredibly long period of time.
But what do you all think of this revolutionary rediscovery and what it could mean for the future of humanity? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.